Well, as parents, we try to be as supportive as we can for our kids in everything that they do, from sports to friendships and tough decisions. But how can we support our kids through a crisis like this, or in other words, a pandemic? Behavioral pediatrician Dr. Tim Jordan joins us now via FaceTime with some tips. Dr. Jordan, good morning. It's great to know you're there. I can't see you, but I know you're there. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. Thanks for being with us. I, I think a lot about this. This is, a, this is a changing thing that's happening in our world, and the world is never going to be the same, and it's going to have a huge impact on our kids who grow up through this and are cognizant of it or old enough to understand what's going on. Um, how can we help them through this as parents? Well, you know, one of the things that I think is really important is for us to take care of ourselves. Because there's an old expression that says that the kids always reflect the adults around them. And I think that's really true now. And so, you know, all of us as adults, we're also a little anxious and there's a lot of uncertainty as you're talking about. And I think we need to take care of that. We need to talk to our friends, talk to our spouse. We need to exercise. We need to get enough sleep. We need to turn off the TV other than watching Great Day. So we need to take care of our emotions <laughs> so that when we're with our kids, we don't add our own anxieties to theirs. So take care of yourself first. And that's that's you know I think about that too, and I think when I when my temper does get to a point where everybody being in together and everybody's getting on everybody's nerves, it's important to remember that you need to um, you need to be kind, you need to be gentle through this because this can really leave a mark on these kids. Um, so talk to us about Mr. Rogers and his mom and and your reflections on that. Yeah, it's a famous quote. He said when he was a little boy. And he would see scary things in the news. His mom always said to him, look for the helpers. You'll always find people who are helping. And I think that's true. That's a good thing to focus on. But I think maybe even more important than that is, is to encourage our kids to become helpers. Because a lot of us feel kind of powerless with all this going on, right? Things are just happening. But we can always take charge of being helpful to other people, getting out of ourselves and mm -hmm. being there for others. And it could be something as simple as uh, thinking about classmates who might be a little bit more isolated. There may be some friends they have whose homes aren't that great. So sending uh, or FaceTiming, having some face-to-face -face contact with uh, Skype or FaceTime or Zoom or however they're doing it, Instagram, mm -hmm. to, t to reach out and reach out to people who might be less fortunate than you are and have less people around. All right, Dr. Jordan, we thank you so much. And we are going to be checking back with you because I think this is very important that we keep tabs on our on our relationship with our kids and how our kids are going through this, because we're right. We're just at the very beginning of this thing. It's, this is going to be very, very difficult and a challenge. Thank you, Dr. Yes. Jordan. We appreciate it.